Hi, I'm Ace, the game penciler. I'm here to draw Logan from the movie. So, to start with my uh, drawing, uh, I have to make the construction lines. So, I always start with uh, a brush, this one, with a low opacity of uh, 30. And then uh, make a transparent layer. Then I need a pose for uh, the character Logan. So to define him, he's a, a character with uh, full rage. Like he's always angry like the Hulk. So we have to present it uh, in that manner. So I'll start. So... I always start with the head, so doing the basic circle, and then make a skeleton of his action. So I'm I'm doing a, a stickman type figure. They're like 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 this. <laughs> And now I'll put some claws in his hands. So this will be his um, line of action. Then after the construction lines, we have to put the, the skin, the depth of his muscles. So I'm going to create another layer. And then start with the head again. And adding the the parts of his body like uh, shoulders, the torso, the legs, and then the arms. So, as you can see, I'm uh, starting to put uh, details. There. Anyway, if you're unsatisfied with your work, you, you can always modify it while it's still in the sketching stage. So some ways is to flip the image and then see if you have made some errors. Then we're going to hide the first uh, construction line that we did so that we can see it clearly and then let's detail the, the sketch that we are making so from the head I want to know where the eyes is located then the nose and then the mouth so to put into details, uh, Logan's nose is um, uh, different, <laughs> so it's like this. Then I want to have a mouth expression, like his roaring. really want to make the shape of his eyes similar to the to huge dark man but um, I don't think I will able to copy exactly his face <laughs> but I'll try
then I want to copy the shape of his eyes from which Jackman which is um, I'm trying to do so there then the jaw then ears then huge uh, um, I mean uh, Logan has a beard around And then his hair. So let's draw his hairline. So it's uh, quite a bit far up because uh, in the Logan movie it's very old. So, like that. <laughs> it actually looks funny but well it's still in construction and uh, we're still going to I'm still going to modify it and uh, make it look uh, more presentable so like uh, I noticed that uh, the head is bigger so I may have to reduce it quite a little bit so that it matches the proportion of his body and then, then now I'm going to dress him up with clothes. So he wears a coat. Uh, later on, I'm still going to modify this to make it look better. So I'm, I sometimes uh, time skip this video. Then. I think he wears something black inside. Oh, there's another shirt here. Anyway, I'm fixing some some of the parts that uh, really defines him as Logan. So I erase some some portions like the arms so that I could clearly uh, fix it well I still feel unsatisfied with uh, my output so I'm still modifying Logan <coughs> like um, I noticed that the earlier sketch that the eyes are very big so I'm going to reduce it and uh, fix it to make him look more human. Also, this side of the eyes has, has a problem, <laughs> so I have to fix it manually. So before you go to the last stage of your work, you have to check your work during the, the sketching stage. So I think I'm nearly done. So right there, I uh, took some time to polish it. <laughs> And um, I finished the rough sketch. So this is just the rough sketch. So what I'm going to do next is uh, refine it by doing the line art. So I will put this in a folder and call this a sketch. So this is the rough sketch of our Logan. Then. Um, I will make another layer for the line art 
Uh, but before that, I'm actually uh, going to upsize the canvas to 400% larger so that it's easy, easier for me to draw in pencil. Then I'll choose pencil. Right now, we're going to refine it into a more detailed drawing. So, I will um, fade the sketch a little bit so that I can still see. Then, start to draw in another layer using the brush tool. And now, I'm going to use the black color. So it's, it's just like tracing uh, your work, only that uh, in more fine art detail. So I'm going to start the line at his face. can um, switch the, the opacity of your brush by pressing the numbers 1 to 9 so 1 meaning 10% then up to 9, 90% then 0 is 100% so I want to work with 50% And then now I'm in the eye section. So below the eyes, I think uh, it's better to use uh, a lower opacity. And then drawing the eyeball. So when we make the eyeball, there should be should be a uh, highlight. Then I use the erase tool to to do that. Then now I finish his eyes. So I'm going to the other parts of his uh, face. So I'm going to draw his mouth like that. Yeah, like that. <laughs> so I need to redraw his um, mouth like he's really, really in grudge. With uh, I'm drawing the details of the teeth. Now I start drawing the ear. So if you make make a mistake, um, don't hesitate to use the erase tool. You can always redraw them again. And then I will make his um, facials. This will, this might take long, <laughs> so I'm going to time skip this part. So I finished the, the beard now, and uh, doing the hair. I'm actually doing um, nine strokes. So 
this is actually taking me a lot of time like I've been here like around minutes <laughs> and uh, later I will uh, show you the, the end result of his face now I have finished the hair so after I finish the hair I will start to draw the other parts of his body so I think I'll uh, do this in another layer so that if I make mistake I'll just simply delete it now I'm here at the, his um, arm but um, I find it tricky because um, if you wear a jacket um, the, the cloth seems to um, fold fold a lot like like this one like in my t-shirt it has many folds so I have to make my drawing that it re represents the folds of the jacket when you make the folds in the jacket or any clothes you really need to think carefully <laughs> which is quite um, imaginary so I don't have a reference for this and just uh, using my mind then I have to make the the shade or shadow uh, in a lower opacity so now I'm uh, drawing the, the hand in closed fist so since I have the reference already I will just draw according to the guide if you're having hard time to draw the, the hand you should use your own fist as, uh, as the reference So I'm about to be finished with the hand with just a couple of few shadings. So there. I'm going to continue and uh, do this in the other hand. now I'm almost finished and uh, drew the line of uh, his clothes what is left is uh, drawing the lines of the clothes so clothes are very simple if, if you can do a perfect curve you just line it See, it, it's very, it's actually hard and easy at the same time. Then later, I'm going to add the shadows. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm going to add the, the shades in, in his clothes and then uh, show you the result. Then um, lastly, I'm adding um, gray shade uh, coloring using the polygonal lasso tool so I am connecting lines and then auto fill it there actually made the, the rest 
now I am adding more shades as my finishing touch so that my grayscale artwork will have more depth so that it looks nicer then lastly I'm shading the claw I want it to look like it is metallic and uh, the edge should be more uh, used so I'm going to erase some portions at its edge pretty much the side that I did here then I'm going to add white hair around his hair so that he looks old like um, in the movie so I have to do this one by one same as how I did the, the black hair Now I'm finished with my drawing of Logan. So here it is. Later I'm going to put this image under the description so that you can download it or and use it as wallpaper if you want. And um Please subscribe at my channel. Uh, later, I'm going to make more videos on how to draw characters and probably also anime. Well, see you soon.